I said salute to the untouchable True School Sports Empire. <laughs> That's over right, the untouchable. Not only the South Florida boxing scene, but the worldwide boxing scene. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about and highlight a fight that probably is going to slip through the cracks because it's not a, it's not the main event. It's, it's on a big card. It's on the Katie Taylor versus uh, Karen Carbajal card on October, October 29th, live on The Zone in the UK at Wembley Arena. It's going to be a, a momentous occasion. Okay, now this video ain't about the main event. Respect to Katie Taylor, she had a great fight with Serrano early in the year. This video ain't about that. This video is about uh, a fighter that I'm very fond of here on True School Sports because I feel like he has slipped through the. He's one of those fighters that has slipped through the cracks and has been one of the better fighters in America around his weights, but just hasn't had the opportunity to prove himself. And he's a lot of times he's had to take the B side. Sometimes at weight classes that aren't the most advantageous or ideal and it's no different here. We're, we're talking about The Bronx's very own New York City's very own pistol Pete Dobson now Pete Dobson 16 and 0 he's doing it again. He's, he's, he's the b-side He's going into the Lions Den defending his undefeated record against uh, a guy that um, I've seen fight before and I'm kind of like learning about him as I go because I, I did see him fight on the what was it? Uh, Mick Conlon, Lee Wood undercard. Uh, I'm talking about, uh, and I may, I may butcher his first name, but uh, Kamin Agyarko from, from Ireland, you know, uh, the black Irishman, the, the the man that's trying to become, he's made it very clear. This guy, Agyarko, he's 12 0, 7 KOs. Um, this, this fight is for the WBA International Super World Toy title, so this fight will boost both these guys up in the rankings at 154. But Agyarko is a guy that's made his intentions very clear. He wants to become the first black Irishman to win a world title in boxing has never been done before he wants to bring the big knights to Belfast he wants to fight all of his fellow Irish brethren and like Luke Keeler and, and, and Gary Spike O'Sullivan and, 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 and you know the, the guys around his way who are from Ireland so I, I respect it and he's a strong fighter and he's good and, and, and he looks very determined and um I love this fight because I, I, I love where both these guys are at in their careers uh, Yako is a guy that is probably he's, he's, a, he's a good fighter you know he just hasn't been in probably like you know he, he's been active but he probably hasn't been you would say pushed enough if that makes sense like he fought twice this year he fought twice so he, he's been fighting consistently twice a year but you'd like to see a guy at his level maybe fight three four times a year and he hasn't gotten that and he's kind of slipped through the cracks and hasn't been really um hyped up like a lot of the matchroom prospects have been hyped up but he's good he, he's strong and and he's 25 years old he's a good age you know pete dobson is on the on the older side. He's 32 years old. But Pete Dobson, look, he's 16 and 0. But this is a guy at 16 and 0. And Pete, who if you anybody who knows anybody here in the states, this guy's been in camp with Jerron Ennis, Broner, um, um, in a whole host of, of of top Terrence Crawford. So he's known. He's known in gyms across America. You may not the boxing fans may not know him, but the people in the industry know him. The fighters know him, and Pete can really fight. And Pete's been waiting for an opportunity like this on, on, a, on, a, on a platform like The Zone to show what he could do. And he's doing it at a weight class that really isn't his weight class. He's, he's fighting 154, but he's really more of a natural welterweight. Uh, that's where he's really made it, his noise. I mean, just, just so you, for those of you who don't know Pistol Pete's story, let me, let me give you the little rundown, and then we'll talk about the styles and then we'll end the video. But, um, you know, I would say his three biggest wins was when he beat Jeremy J. Flash Nichols early in his career for the WBC USNBC title uh, Nichols was an undefeated southpaw at the time. They were on the same level at that particular time. Pete was able to grind that one out and win. Um, in my opinion, his best night of his career came when he fought on the untelevised portion of the, of the Manny Pacquiao Keith Thurman undercard against Emmanuel Medina, you know, a, a tall, strong Mexican 16 0 fighter. And he came in as the B side, took the fight on like a week or two weeks' notice and knocked him out in five rounds and an eight rounder. But very few people knew about it or saw it or heard about it because it was on the untelevised portion of the card. And, and there really isn't a whole lot of videos out there about it on YouTube. But I know about it because I, I know my boxing, you know. And then earlier this year, he fought uh, Jose Miguel Borrego, another guy that, you know, hard-punching Mexican fighter. You know, a guy that, you know, can, can really been in camp with Earl Spence and, and things like that. And um, that was a fight where, you know, it was, it was looked at to be a competitive fight. 
I thought he would win, but there are a lot of people that thought Barrego would beat Pete Dobson. He found a way to win that, win that fight. So he's found a way to win the fights that, that, that weren't favorable to him. And he's doing it now again at 154, taking out uh, Yarko. Now, Yarko, I, watched, I did watch some of his interview on IFL TV. Um, he seemed like a very nice guy, a proud man, a guy that really knows what he wants out of boxing and in life. Um, looking at his career so far, I mean, the, there really isn't like any crazy names on his resume. Um, but he's WBA international title. The last guy he fought had a 28 4 1 record. So he's doing his thing. Yarko was doing his thing. He could punch. He, he feels like that this is a, a stepping stone for him in his career. I would disagree. I would say that this is going to be a very competitive fight and that uh, he best not overlook Pete Dobson. Otherwise, he'll be walking home with his first L. And vice versa goes for Pete. Pete better not be overlooking um, Ayako because Ayako may punch a hole through him. He's, he's, he's a good fighter. You know, he's, he's not no scrub. He's not a bum. This is a guy that um, can fight, you know. And Ayako, you know, I, I was watching this interview on IFL TV, and he made a comment saying that, you know, the, the us Americans like to talk and we're brash. And we are. That, that's the truth. M Americans in general tend to be brash compared to other countries. But um, he was saying that like, oh yeah, you know, I want to do what I always did in the amateurs to Americans and beat them. So then I, I went on Box Rec to check his, his, his amateur record to see if like, if he beat all the Americans. And then the first name I noticed that was an American fighter was, uh, he fought Khalil Cole and lost both fights. So he's over here making these little snidery remarks that are not even true. So come on, come on, come on, Agyarko. Don't be like that, champ. Don't 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 throw salt on us Americans. Not some of us Americans appreciate fighters from everywhere. We don't want, we don't want we don't want you throwing salt on the on America, man. That's not cool. But anyway, this is a good. Honestly, look, I'm making this video because uh, I really think this is this, this, to me this is the fight. Um, this is the fight to watch in that card. Uh, Yarko is a hungry 12 0 undefeated fighter looking to really make some noise in the 154 division and become the first Black Irish World Champion ever. Uh, Pete Dobson's a fighter that has been waiting for opportunity for a long time, has been the B side on about two or three occasions and, and, and been able to come out with flying colors and win. And he just hasn't ha got the opportunity to, to make the fight happen that would put him in the next level at 147. Now, he, this really shows a lot about Pete that he would be willing to go across the pond to another country. And now he's going to fight a guy that's undefeated and strong like he is and and he's gonna go in there and, and he's gonna try to beat him and dethrone him so it says a lot about his character and who he is as a man so uh really good fight just wanted to give you guys a heads up on this one the date is october 29th it'll be on the katie taylor uh carball undercard um i gotta watch more about yako to make a decision on who i think won the fight i, I don't have a prediction yet but um I can tell you who I want to win. I want I want Pistol Pete Dobson to win because he's a, he's a friend of the channel and I, and I love I love Pete. But um, it's gonna be a really good fight and you guys don't don't want to miss it. So yeah, leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your guys. Uh, just like uh, uh, Mayweather's uncles would say, a lot of people don't know shit about boxing. Um, you know, um, you you do. You've done Thank it. Thank you. You about the only smart guy that I know, bro. Nobody knows shit about boxing. I appreciate it, man. I'm gonna say, man, make sure to follow True School Sports, always covering boxing at the highest level, man, and make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram at Just a Kid from Danny as Ooh, well. He, he the Got plug. It.